I recently heard about the largest Tesla supercharger in the world in California. Well, everything is bigger there. It's powered by diesel. And I thought it was great ammunition for the EV haters, as if they need any more. And I was so glad where I live, as I'm surrounded by wind turbines, solar panel. So at least my EV is powered by the wind and the sun. So I'm very grateful to Sam Alexander, who I follow on YouTube to bust the myth. Hello friends, my name is Nigel and Jennifer, my wife and I enjoy sharing our experiences driving our Tesla Model 3. I hope you can subscribe and like and uh, please leave any comments below. They're all very welcome and especially welcome to everybody and the new subscribers. Thank you very much. In Sam's latest video, he explains he likes to fact check, unlike most people who don't, and found the story about the Harris Ranch supercharger in California was not true. Are basing their information off of a video that was like 17 seconds long from eight years ago. And this is what I find so frustrating. I subscribe to Sam and hope you will also. Sam shows how the story is a lie, but some people never let the truth get in the way of a good anti-EV story. And I've seen this story in dozens and dozens of places. And it's amazing ammunition for the EV haters saying, well, you know, it's not powered by renewables, it's powered by diesel. So what's the point? And I've seen this comment so many times and I'm so pleased that Sam now has found the real truth. Well done, Sam. Brilliant. The problem is every day the internet, papers and TV has some sort of anti-EV news. Many of my followers are EV owners, Tesla and other brands, who leave comments on my videos, and I hope you can also. And mostly they love their EVs and would not return to a gas car. They more than outnumber those that are going back to a gas car. In fact, I don't think I can remember anyone who has actually said that. I think it was one, I asked him what EV he had, but he never replied. So I'm not sure he ever actually had one. But I do get a few anti-comments from people who say they will never buy an EV until we have an EV that will do 700 miles on one charge. Yeah, imagine that, driving 700 miles uh, in the UK at 50 miles an hour on our motorways. And uh, I definitely need a break after 150 at least. The owners of House Ranch say they don't have any diesel generators anywhere on their property that Tesla operate on. So it's just another made up anti-EV story. A great fuel for all the haters. There are lots of stories like this. And this month, the apparently the Tesla market share and sales are reducing and EV sales are slowing down. Tesla dominate the EV market. Uh, their market share cannot possibly continue as high to, uh, as more and more car manufacturers make EVs. And the most popular EVs are Teslas throughout the world. But for now, Tesla are the biggest selling EV worldwide. And they've achieved that without spending millions on advertising. But instead, they rely on word of mouth from its owners, which is fantastic. And they save millions in advertising every year. More people are buying a new Tesla or another EV than they did last year. Also, more people are buying a used EV as more new EVs are coming onto the marketplace and used prices of EVs are coming down, which is great news. When I bought mine, there was only a few thousand difference between uh, a new Tesla and a Tesla that had done 10,000 miles. So it just wasn't worth uh, buying a used one. Now you can probably save 10, 15, 20,000 pounds more on a used uh, Tesla, which is brilliant. The legacy car makers mostly make expensive big SUVs, pushing the prices up. But what we need is smaller, lower priced EVs. China know this, uh, they're supplying their home market and many new brands from China will be heading our way very, very soon. Japan and Germany legacy car makers who have done so well over many decades can see that their dominance is coming to an end. Look, I could never go back to my gas car. I've been driving for 50 years 
and if anyone should be stuck in the past it's me recently i've been noticing as it gets a bit colder how many more people sit in their vehicles engines running when stationary as poisonous exhaust fumes fill the air i just don't understand it and think in years to come we will look back in horror and how long would you last in a garage in fact you'd die pretty soon uh, if you're in a garage with the the door locked but and yet people do that yes it's true i've been putting poisonous fumes into the atmosphere for 50 years that i've been driving and i'm certainly not proud of that but now i do have a choice and i like the choice of using renewable energy from the sun and the wind anyway what do you think thanks for getting this far hope you can subscribe and like and please leave any comments below See you next time. Don't forget to use your reusable coffee mug wherever you go. Uh, you get discounts in a lot of places and try not to use those horrible paper cups that just cannot be recycled. Thanks very much. Take care on the roads. See you next time. Bye.